like to introduce Chad Jenkins from Power South, uh, who will be sharing his experiences and best practices with you. Thank you. Next slide, please. Uh, Power South Energy is located in southeast Alabama. We're a wholesale power supplier for 20 member systems. Uh, it's our responsibility to generate or purchase power and deliver it through our transmission network to our 20 member systems. We're a $1.4 billion company, one of the eight largest in Alabama, 600 employees. Uh, we have uh, three generating facilities, uh, over 2,200 miles of line, 300 substations. Uh, next slide. Get a better view of us geographically. Uh, the list shown on that page is our 20 member systems, which make up our board. We're owned by the ones we serve. Uh, those 20 people, each one has two seats on our board for 40 board members. Have over 1,000 consumers, over a half a million meters, uh, 3,100, 31,000 square miles, 49 counties, 39 in Alabama, 10 in Florida. Uh, next, please. Uh, a view of our telecom network, uh, what we work with, uh, we have 66 miles of fiber in Covington County uh, between our two primary backup control centers. We have 58 tower sites, 12 satellites, 7 AT&T interfaces, 6 uh, cellular route, routers that we're experimenting with. Uh, we have firewalls at every one of our, the towers almost. And uh, 73 access point radios at the towers, 316 remote radios, the thinner lines. You see the thick green line on the map is our microwave backbone. You'll notice the um, hub in the middle where we're at in Covington County feeding out the, the hub and spoke design, but we also have utilized public infrastructure for backups to close those loops on that hub and spoke design. Next slide, please. So some of the challenges facing us is we do have a uh, high volume of customer calls, uh, particularly not only with our engine control center, but also we have a customer response center supporting 10 of our distribution members. Uh, those are after hours weekend calls during storm disaster recovery. Uh, we're able to handle 96 simultaneous phone calls. They can transfer to a live operator. The live operator calls are recorded by the VPI. Uh, so we need reliable, unified recording solutions for both the private uh, dispatch solution, the mobile radio system, as well as the telephone system, internal telephone systems. Uh, we we are do have an audit every three years, an operations audit. We're a member of the Southeast Electric Liability Council, which reports to the National Electric Liability Council, which reports to the Federal Liability Council. So uh, lots of scrutiny, lots of rules there. And uh, frequently during, during those uh, audits, uh, the auditor will select a day and say, play back one of the recordings from this day. And uh, one of the main things they're trying to do there is ensure that the protocol is followed. When you tell, when the dispatcher gives out an order to close this breaker to do this operation, the uh, field crew has to repeat back those commands exactly. The operator has to acknowledge that, he, that they repeated them back properly before the, the operation is executed. Um, human safety is critical. I mean, we're working with 230,000 volt lines, 115,000 volt lines, and 46,000 volt lines. So uh, some, some uh, we don't need to close breakers in on, on people, humans, or, or destroy any equipment. Also, we're a billion dollar company. 75% of our budget is associated with fuel and purchase power sale, purchase power sales and purchases. So uh, it's very critical that uh, that significant part of our budget is, is handled properly. And those calls are recorded, and, and uh, the fuels group has frequently referred back to them to say, yes, that is what we purchased. Uh, human safety thing, the operators are able to go back and play back recordings and make sure that the protocols are being followed. And um, we, uh, the solution we come up with does give us efficient access to the recordings in a single solution. Unified solution. Next slide, please. So our, our solution 
was to go with a, well, first of all, we have a primary and backup control center. The, um, the primary control center is located in Andalusia, Alabama, and 10 miles up the road, we have a backup control center at our, one of our generating facilities in Guyana, Alabama. Uh, I'm going to start at the bottom of the slide with the red corporate wide area network. Uh, the, the corporate wide area network ties together the phone systems and the recording systems for the phone systems. You'll see at the primary control center, there's the uh, Avaya primary PBX server. And over at the backup control center is the Avaya backup PBX server. Also on that same WAN is located the VPI primary recorder for the PBX system. And again, at the backup control center, the VPI backup recorder. So uh, calls are never dropped. The, the two Avaya servers are synchronized. The other one can take over instantly and have been a failure. The two VPI servers are also being streamed the audio. And our, either system can operate independently as an island or when the network is together and working properly, one of the primaries in control and the backup is on standby. If you move up above the firewalls that's connecting us to the operations core in green there in the center of the page, the operations core network has a connection to the primary control center console LAN, the Aptec LAN, as well as at the backup control center uh, console LAN. On that LAN, we have the uh, Aptec VP gate uh, traffic cop at the primary control center, and we also have one at the backup control center. As long as the uh, backup VP gate can see and hear and knows the primary is working properly, he just stays in standby. But at any time the primary does not respond, the backup will, Im will immediately take over. All those, all the audio that comes from the field, from the repeater sites up top in blue, from the field wide, wide area network, from the Aptec outpost, the VP gate establishes a communication link with the outpost, the primary does. And the minute it doesn't respond again, the backup takes over. The audio is streamed from the field to the VP gate. The VP gate does a multicast to both the primary and backup control center consoles. Whichever VP gate is functioning, it streams to both control centers. So both control centers, it's not a cold standby. Both control centers are hot standby. The uh, audio from, from whichever VP gates and service is streamed to both the primary and backup control center VPI recorders. Both recorders are, are hearing the audio, but again, the, we're using the VP, IP Sentry to, so that both VPI servers know that the, which one's online, the primary is, is normally the one making the recordings, so we don't get double recordings. Uh, in the event this network becomes isolated or whatever, uh, there's, there's a couple of months of storage capacity on each of these servers. And whenever the, the server is back in operation, it will send it up to the mothership on the PBX VPI recorder, which serves as a single consolidated uh, portal. So, But uh, there will be no loss of data, no loss of recordings. Again, this network can be segregated, isolated, or whatever, and everything is still being recorded because you have a server on each of the PBX networks, each of the console networks at both control centers. Next slide, please. Here's some uh, screenshots from our Aptec console system. Uh, well, I've shown four, three of the, the main screens used for dispatch. The first screenshot in the top left-hand corner uh, the buttons up top are on are channel one used for dispatch at the communication towers, and the bottom set of buttons are the channel two used for other auxiliary communications. Uh, we, ha we have a selection for each tower, also for some of the plants that are, are listed there as well. Uh, there's a call log on the side and timers keeping up with what's going on. The screenshot at the bottom middle is for our distribution members. That's 16 of our distribution member interfaces. Uh, so we can interface with those as well. They have the ability to do a DTMF uh, key in and direct steer the call to either the energy control center or the customer response center. And the operator 
whichever one of the centers are alerted can respond to that call and have a two-way communications with that group. In the uh, top right-hand corner, we have a our IDEN interface. Uh, if you're familiar with the Motorola IDEN product in um, here in southeast United States, a Southern Company has the Southern Link, which they were helped father and foster that that development. It's known nationally as Nextel. <coughs> Excuse me. The um, what we've done is install those public infrastructure interfaces, those IDN interfaces, Nextel and Southern Link, and throughout our service territory, using our private microwave backhaul to get it back here to our primary backup control centers. It's very unlikely uh, we're close enough to the coast that we're subject to hurricanes being just above the Florida line. But uh, it's very unlikely that the Mobile, Alabama ladder, the Dothan, Montgomery ladder, and the Birmingham ladder, and the Florida Panhandle ladder would all be out. All four ladders would be totally out at the same time. By having this public infrastructure distributed in, throughout our service territory, at least a couple of those are to work at any given time, even during hurricane disaster recovery. And uh, so we have an interface with the outside world as well as our private system through this IP console at both control centers. So we have LATA diversity as well, in including pu public and private diversity. Next slide. <coughs> we have a single solution. Everything is voice over IP, both our phone system as well as our console system. The VPI system is able to capture the recording from the Avtech Scout console, uh, one-way, two-way traffic, as well as record the Avaya phone system traffic using the, those codecs integrated with that server. We have fully redundant recording for quality and control. You've seen on the previous slide the network diagram. Everything is fully redundant. Uh, everything is also not only fully redundant, but can ask work as an island, isolated by itself. Uh, the reservers are, are backed up in hot standby, and IP Sentry controls the monitoring to, for the backup server to know when to kick in, as well as control the duplication of recordings. Next slide, please. <coughs> this is a screenshot from the VPI system. Uh, all we need is a web browser and uh, the Microsoft um, Silver, Microsoft Silverlight. So if you have a browser, a Microsoft Silverlight installed on your computer, uh, and the firewall guys have opened up the hole for you, you can use your username and log in. We have uh, logins for, for each of the managers, for the control center manager, as well as for the uh, customer response center manager, the fuels manager. They're able to go search these recordings based on time of day, uh, source and destination phone numbers. They can even search based on the tower name or our private radio system. They can search based on the phone name. Uh, anything you see on this screen is searchable. It's almost like Google, if you will. Uh, all, the, all the calls are searchable. You have the playback at the bottom. You have the ability to control security of who sees what recordings as well as who can only listen. And some people can download. Next slide. <coughs> so the VPI recording solution allows us to better satisfy order to request, in particular, in particular, quickly satisfy their request. We we can quickly and easily search and find any any type of call on any tower from any source because we have all that tagging. We're uh, Dispute resolution, uh, you know, it's the sooner you solve a problem the, before it gets out of hand, the, the, the better. And we're able to quickly solve disputes. We can download that recording and email it to the, to the customer, to the other party, and say, here, this is what was recorded, and game over. It's reliable, cost effective, and, uh, and it does help us to maintain the customer satisfaction. Um, the quality and value of our, our overall service is improved. And we've, we've been um, complimented by our auditors. As